Uh, we're a balcony question. Uh, hi. On the uh, previous subject, if and when you reach the point where you feel it's gotten too large for just one cruise ship, would you consider doing two cruises a year, one on the east coast and one on the west coast? We're going to go straight to buying the ship and sailing it around the seas. <laughs> That's, that's certainly that's certainly one of the one of the options we're looking at, but it's hard to you know it's hard to say which our favorite option is right now without knowing all of the details uh, you know and making sure that logistically we could handle that uh, with the size and shape staff that we we have um, you know again it's we don't I, I feel like we are all pretty conservative in terms of the kinds of changes that we make because we don't want to. We don't ever want to do have a year that is bad, <laughs> you know. And and so something something a decision like that we would not uh, approach with anything other than enormous caution and uh, large amounts of due diligence and planning. But so I, I can't I can't really say that that's certainly one of the possibilities. Yeah. And that's actually going to be one of the questions on the survey this year. A number of things that we're looking at in our three to ten year horizon because we do we start to ask these things. That's right, the part-time employees do. Um, and to clarify, on Paul's three to ten-year plan, it's going to continue beyond that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a grand vision. This is what I'm living your plan. A cruise legacy. You're just—I can't wait for Coco Cruise 2078, where all just four heads in jars. And <laughs> I look forward to that. Yeah.